goodbye to hearing, ugh, what's that on your face? When it's obviously a pimple or some other blemish? Don't you just wish you knew the right and wrong things to do when you're trying to rid yourself of, of the horrible curse that is acne? Well, don't worry, because today we're going to explore eight acne myths and how to get rid of it. But before we get into that, you should thank us for helping you out with your pimple problem and subscribe. Then click that notification bell. Hey, don't mention it. What are besties for? All right, so first, we're going to talk about all sorts of myths about pimples and blemishes. That is to say, acne. Acne is terrible and can really hurt a person's self-esteem. Whether you have acne as a teenager or it's an adult onset acne, it can seriously be a drag. Since we all dream of perfect skin, it's easy to do a quick Google search to find out how to help clear up your complexion. Today, we've got a video of myths about acne and acne solutions that have been debunked. Hopefully, it'll make your road to clearer skin easier. Number one, the way you eat and what you eat doesn't affect the spread of acne. This is an old myth that says that there is no relationship between your diet and acne, but science has debunked this theory. Products with a high glycemic index as well as hormones that are contained in milk can cause acne and clog your pores. Number two, smoking causes acne. There are a plethora of health risks associated with smoking like cancer and lung disease, but causing acne is not one of them. Smoking does slow down skin regeneration, which causes acne to heal more slowly. It does not, however, cause acne. Number three, makeup, cosmetics cause acne. This is a half-truth. Not all cosmetics are bad for your skin. Try searching for products that are labeled as non-comedogenic, as they are made specifically for problem skin. Also, avoid all products containing alcohols and oils, as they cause dryness and will clog your pores, respectively. Number 4. Tanning helps clear acne This is a harmful misconception. UV rays can actually cause the emergence of more acne. If you currently have acne, stay away from tanning for excessive periods of time. If you have to be in the sun, be sure to use sunscreen to protect your skin from the rays and your acne potentially spreading. Number 5. Stress causes acne This is also a misconception. Stress cannot cause new pimples to form. However, it may slow down the healing for pimples that are already present on your face. Number 6. Washing your face often will clear up acne. Also untrue. Acne and blackheads are caused by the clogging of pores, so washing your face on the surface won't unclog your pores. In fact, excessive face washing may lead to irritation and cause your acne to worsen. Use sulfate-free cleanser to avoid irritating your skin and pat dry your face afterward. Number 7. Toothpaste helps get rid of acne. Toothpaste contains chemicals that cause mild burns, which can certainly dry acne, but may also cause irritation and rashes. Try using benzoyl peroxide-based acne treatments instead. They are developed specifically for acne. Number 8. Popping Zits This is pretty common knowledge. Popping zits can permanently scar your face by damaging infected follicles and thereby aggravate the inflammation. If you decide to pop your pimples, make sure to clean your hands before and after because touching your face with unclean hands can worsen your acne. So, now that the myths about the horrible scourge are out of the way, let's get to the real meat of the video. How does one get rid of acne? Well, why don't we just get right into it, shall we? First, you'll have to figure out what kind of acne you have. Do you want to get rid of your blackheads? These are the little black dots that appear on your face, mostly around your nose or T-zone. But keep in mind that they can show up just about anywhere. The back, neck, chest, shoulders, and arms. BioClarity tells us that blackheads are one of two types of comedones, a skin-colored small bump, papules frequently found on the forehead and chin of those with acne, or acne lesions caused by clogged pores. 
blackhead comedones are open versus closed, leaving the plug at the top of the clogged pore exposed to the air on the skin's surface. It's the exposure to oxygen that accounts for their color, which can not only be black, but also gray, yellow, or brown. Luckily, they're usually pretty painless and easy to get off. Whiteheads? Remember when we talked about how blackheads are closed comedones? Well, whiteheads are open comedones. If it's small, if it's white, and if it's round on your skin's surface, there's a good chance it's a whitehead. They can vary in size, they can appear anywhere, but best of all, they're usually pretty painless and generally considered to be mild. Papules. This is where we're going to dive into the grosser forms of acne, so hold on. These happen when blocked pores become more and more irritated, growing in size and digging deeper into your skin. Afterwards, if pimples get trapped underneath the skin's surface, they'll turn into papules. These monsters are defined by bioclarity pretty clearly. Red, sore spots, which can't be popped, please don't try. Squeezing the oil, bacteria, and skin cell mixture can result in long-term scars that may be unresponsive to acne treatments. They're formed when the trapped, infected pore becomes increasingly inflamed and irritated, and they usually feel hard to the touch. Papules are small, less than one centimeter in diameter, with distinct borders. When clusters of papules occur near each other, they can appear as a rash and make your skin feel rough like sandpaper. Because they're hard to get to, they're considered to be a more severe form of acne than the other two. Pustules. These forms of acne are formed pretty similar to papules. However, there's a slight difference. We're pretty grossed out by it, so we'll let BioClarity speak for us. The difference is that pustules are filled with liquid pus, giving them a white or yellowish appearance akin to blisters. They're usually tender, hard, and pretty severe. Like papules, you probably shouldn't try to bust these babies on your own. Eek! Gross! Nodules We end our description of various forms of acne with the most serious of the five, nodules. Usually about one to two centimeters in diameter, these pus-filled sacs are serious business. Wherever they show up on your body, whether it be somewhere externally, like the face, neck, armpits, groin, or somewhere internally, like the lungs, thyroid, and lymph nodes. You should always consult a doctor if you think you have nodules. Now that you know what you're looking to destroy, let's go through some methods of doing so. Number one, wash your face. You don't want to use regular soap when you're washing your face, because that's not enough to clean it. The people at thenot.com recommend that you look for topical acne medication ingredients salicylic acid or benzol peroxide in your face wash and use gentle, non-abrasive cleansing techniques. Also, look for something that'll get the dirt and oils out without over-drying your precious skin. Number 2. Moisturize There's nothing worse for guaranteeing you'll get acne than an overly dry face. That's why you'll have to moisturize. However, make sure that it's an oil-free moisturizer, because if not, it won't be good for your skin. Number three, take medication. If you're really serious or have really bad acne, you'll want to consider medication for the job. There are a couple different types of medication that you can use in order to clear up your acne. TheKnot.com recommends a couple different medicines. The first one is topical also known as when it's applied directly to the skin, or oral, also known as when it's taken through your mouth, antibiotics. The Knot describes them working like this. Topical antibiotics kill bacteria in the upper portion of your pores, while oral antibiotics can reach the lower depths of the pores. Also, they say that these antibiotics are the most effective for treating acne because they both kill bacteria and act as anti-inflammatory agents to calm down the skin. So, if you're really serious about getting rid of your acne, then you might want to talk to your doctor about this. Number 4. Natural Options 
Say you're not about all those government pills with their chemicals, man. You're a hippie. You want nature to cure your acne. However, you need to remember this about natural treatments. There's no research supporting the effective use of natural acne treatments. So if you're using this, remember, it might not work as well as all those government chemicals. Anyways, the knot says to try this remedy. Coconut oil. In order to use this apparent miracle product as an acne cleanser, you're going to have to add it to your diet. The knot says that the fatty acids like lauric acid and caprylic acid are metabolized into antibacterial agents in the body, which apparently help get rid of pimples. Either that, or you can rub some on your skin after cleansing. It'll give you a hydrating boost. And that just about wraps it up. What did you think about our acne video? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.